let's just cut to this camera, shall we? Because everything's just going wrong at the moment. Uh, one second. I need to uh, uh, sort this out. Stand by. Uh, I've just reset the computer because um, it wouldn't let me stream to YouTube at all. Uh, if I do that, that's better. Perfect. You can hear me. I can see chat over here. I can't see the chat like I normally would over here because, you know, everything's going wrong tonight. Uh, and there is a reason this is upside down is because that's where we're going to start. I tried to get myself ahead because in pack nine, we've got quite a lot to do. I don't think there's too many tricky parts, hopefully. So um, there you go. It was Monty Python and the Holy Grail. So uh, well done. I think Philip Trot got that. You got that first. And uh, hello, Christian from Grantford. I can do this tonight. Let's give it up big time. Hello, Christian from Grantham. Now let's get cracking. Okay, now what I'm trying to do is, um, I don't know what's changed since last week. Normally I have my chat come up on the screen so I can put the chat up on the screen, but Restream will not let me enter the studio. And I'm wondering if that's because I'm already streaming and they've upgraded it to stop this little hack that I was doing that I can actually display all of your chat on the screen here when I'm not streaming. Does that make sense? So, um, so in other words, if I'm not using Restream, I was still able to put chat up here. So I think what's going to happen is on nights like tonight, Tuesdays and uh, Wednesday nights, I won't be able to put the chat up. And then Thursday nights, I'll do that through Restream and I'll be able to put the chat up. But at the moment, it won't let me run Restream Studio and OBS at the same time. I think that's the problem we're having. But I'm glad I managed to stream tonight. And I can still see uh, the chat here. I'm going to have to um, uh, open a chat box up next to my computer. So one second. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to see anything. Uh, it says the chat's waiting for new messages. Somebody type something. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what's going on. Everything's just going wrong tonight. <laughs> right, yeah, it says we've got 42 people in here, and I've said hello, and hello's come up in the chat, so I'm happy now. So uh, there you go. It's been a fun old time. Um, just so you know, I have been working on the Enterprise last week, and that's... Let me get these off. I don't need these on anymore. That's mainly on account that um, I've got absolutely nothing to build. Nothing to build at all. Um, today, I did get a delivery from Ixo Collection, so I've now got box 21... 22 and 23 of the Porsche 917. Now, Agora models haven't got that buck pack out yet. So uh, I think we're going to do that next week because I'm only doing that one on the Patreon channel. I can see you all now. Hello, Bergdis and Ed and Steve and Marks and Storm Gaming. I will muck around with this after the stream because it might just be a server error on Restream side. But uh, I had to keep putting different RTMP maps in to actually get it to come on tonight. So sorry there was no proper countdown, but at least you got the film and it was Holy Ground. Could have been Highlander though. Um, what else? Um, I am expecting something from Fan Home, which I think is the Knight Rider. And I am expecting the Infinity Gauntlet. I don't know when that's coming yet either. And on Friday, we have got the finished Lamborghini Mura, which uh, I'm really happy about. That's all finished now. Uh, have been a bit concerning though, that from what I understand, a lot of the Americans, Americans, a lot of the French, are starting to finish the Alien. And things are going wrong. Things are going wrong big time. Apparently, this build is going to be an absolute nightmare. I thought some of the parts with the Iron Man and stuff were uh, crazy. But apparently, um, the alien is going to be a bit of a nightmare. So what I'm going to do is I will be opening, because I've got box one here. I'm going to open it up. And I think I am going to first off swap out the magnets that come inside of it to stronger neodymium magnets. Because um, I want to get prepared for doing a basic build, which is going to have a hell of a lot of problems. Because I'm thinking... That's what it's going to have. Oh, thank you, Paul. I haven't finished the thruster area yet, and I've still got to do the AB deck. But I wanted to get the electrics in, so I can just plug it in and see all their beauty now. I do have two other lights to put in, Paul. I've got to do the spotlight, and I'm put putting a light back. I don't know if you noticed that when the beaker was blinking, the back little, uh, I don't know, the door at the back of the AB deck was blinking as well. It's because I haven't light blocked that beacon. So I'm going to light block the beacon and put a separate bulb in there, so I do have lights coming out the back. But uh, box 23 of the 917 has not appeared anywhere yet. Um, stand by. Oh. This is the Patreon channel after all. What no part works, Matt? It's balancing. It's balancing on this metal thing here, Chris. That's why I didn't put it on the mat. The... Uh... The mat wouldn't help much anyway, to be honest with you, because it's because it's only on two points. It, it wobbles, you see. So I've got to be 
got to be very careful. Um, what we got here? Let's just open it and show you. Let's see what we got. <laughs> so this is box 22. So we've seen this one, yeah? I'm guessing. And this just looks like door panels and windscreen wipers. Now, if you can see that. Let me, uh, well, the way I normally do this is I uh, go to the end and see how far we get. As you can see. Someone says we've got to put a sticker on a door. Is that correct? I'm guessing it is. Look, we've got to put a sticker on a door. Not too happy about that. But that's stage 22. But stage 23, you want to see. Let's have a look. Uh, this is stage 23. It's massive. Let's uh, open this one up. Stand by. Leave me uh, this cutting thing. <laughs> Did I put that? There it is. All fun. One second. I don't know what this massive thing is in here. I'm just going to get the... Uh, the magazine out to show you. Hang on a second. I'm gonna gonna do this properly. Change cameras. Go to that camera. Move this out the way just for a second. As you can see, I've laid everything out, so we should be good. I don't know. Uh, hopefully, we get there tonight. And this is the magazine stage 23, Berg. This you get to see what we're actually doing. So looks like we're putting a lot of this bodywork parts together. Electrics. We've got the front end of the vehicle. That's probably what this, uh, oh, I don't know what, what, what the big thing is. It might be the back end, actually. It's the back end of the vehicle. You're putting all the bodywork together in stage 23. Looking like that. Pretty fun. It looks like we are putting, yeah, just putting a lot of the bodywork bits together. So hopefully that'd be a nice quick stage. Don't know how that's going to work out. But that's stage 23. I know the other ones are online, so you'll be able Let's to see give that. give it up big time. So, uh, Oh, you signed Hello, up to complete Christian the Enterprise. I'm, I'm definitely Brandon. not going to be doing the now, Enterprise. I've, I've got it down in. here, and I was looking at it again today, and I'm just, just not with it. So it will be interesting being an outsider, because that's what I'll be when it's finished, to see what the finished one looks like. And you never know. If it starts to look really good with people's builds, then I might, have a, I might go back to it in the future. Who knows? Cutting fingers the knife. That's the one. <laughs> He's testing if the car is good for Silverstone. What's that? I have only two model builders left in subscription. Have removed many. What I don't like is when they do nothing than talk and then show the model in its progress. You do not see the build. I try and build everything as I go along. But some things, tell you, Marcus, they're really hard to film. And you'll see that on the Lamborghini mirror. In the end, I just put one of the uh, instructions on the screen and showed you the part. Because there's no way I was going to get a camera into the little bits that it goes. Um, oh, the bit, it's, it's jingling again, is it? Thank you. I'll just turn... Uh, Berg, this is jingle off. <laughs> but there you go. So there's number 23. So we've done that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on this straight away. I will try and look at chat. Uh, but it is hard because I've got the instructions on the screen here telling me what I'm going to do. I'm just lining up the instructions now as well. Uh, so without further ado, let's do, do this. So we'll go over to this camera and I'll bring this back over. And trying to figure out the best way to hold this is a bit of a nightmare. But I have already mucked around with a camera because it's this stage that I need first. Because we're going to be putting these... Uh, lower wishbones in now these lower wishbones do have uh, a little r stamp on them just trying to find that stamp which is there and the other one's got a left stamp it's just going to go over the peg there and sit on the front of this gold section there now you'd expect us to be putting something through here to keep that into place but we don't do that for a couple of stages we are going to be putting this side in though and the way we do that is take the other side here which has got l on it that's going to go on the side there, just like that. Stay. And then all of these come from a different pack. All of these were coming from, uh, well, let's have a look. The wishbones were stage 72. This bit that I'm holding here was stage 72 as well. That's just going to go into the centre bit there to hold those two bits in the top in place. And it's held in with a B screw, which I've already got lined up because I was super prepared and then obviously the internet decided to die on me or whatever happened. Um, I'm trying to think what I can press down on to get some uh, <laughs> sort of leverage on that. One second, this is hard. I'm gonna get me bigger screwdriver, that normally helps. And if I hold the center of the car, there we go. And there we go, that's those in place. Now, I think I can now turn this back over think there we go 
and I will just change this camera you are looking at there and we'll go back to that one perfect okay I'm happy now <laughs> the other section that we need to do was this little bit here and we do have these sections here that come in the side which I've already pushed in I was doing that while I was trying to figure out the uh, internet so those two bits there are just pushed in on lugs either side so that's a nice uh, easy thing there just clip them in so there's no gap right <laughs> referring to the f1 crash at silverstone last year oh yeah i know that they've been uh, doing a lot of safety stuff hi nick how's it going uh, and now we've done that and we put that in that's all there is to do in that stage so we can move swiftly on to stage 74 and in stage 74 we get this lovely shock absorber check that out all metal all made for us we haven't got to do anything for that but we don't actually do anything with that because uh, i don't even think we're using this are we to start off with no nope. what we're going to be doing is taking the part that we just created and we have got a tiny lug just there which is going to go into the front of this section here I'm going to try and line it up make sure it's around the right way it goes around this way and get this into place oh god please and push that in again trying to figure out what i can actually hold stand by and of course it's uh doesn't want to go in straight away so i've got to figure that out am i putting this in the right way I'm definitely put it in the right way i'm going to put a bit of oil just on the lug here because it's being a pain i try oil first and then the, the filing comes out okay let's try that again the brake pipes i'm just trying to push them out of the way while i'm doing this as well I keep putting it upside down hang on a second <laughs> right here we go again get in there there you go see oil oil is your friend it fixes all problems that's in place just like that okay we need to screw this in so we're going to be screwing this in with d screws now these d screws if i go oh that camera's good are going to go just through this section here onto this bracket here so get these in Gauntlet's box one is on route to me. Yeah, mine is as well, Nick. <laughs> You're going to be my gauntlet build, buddy. So uh, hopefully that won't take too long. But what with the alien I'm doing as well, I'll actually start having some stuff to do. Let's get this one in. Perfect. And these do need to be able to move because in a minute I am going to be putting the shocks move that cable there the shocks down here you see but there you go that's in place just like that don't think it needs to be no, that's perfect okay so i think it's shock absorber time <laughs> just checking that nope we've got these little magnetic sort of like bolts to actually hide what we've just screwed in there for that reason i just want to make sure that i definitely can't get this in anymore i don't want it too tight because i said they want to move put these magnets in place which believe me is a lot harder than you think because my hand is now covered in oil and now i've got to separate these as i said they are magnets and put them just over the screws i've just put in one oh they've got in really good quite clever actually two they're the things that you know are going to get lost though when we put them in. Gonna touch, I'm not going to touch it because I'm sure it's going to be fine at the moment. Uh, believe it or not, that's all there is to do in that stage. So uh, moving swiftly on, we're going to be taking one of the shock absorbers. It's got a black end and a silver end. And I've got to figure this one out. We're going to put it through the top here. So it comes out the bottom. And then attach this to this side. Now they've actually, I might as well do, uh, just check in. I'll do it the way they're doing it because I'm going to get myself confused otherwise. 
they're actually starting with this side over here. So I'll put the shock in there, bring this back across, and it's going to go in kind of like that. Just push that in a bit. There you go. Uh, it's going to be held in from the front with a screw. <laughs> What screw, you ask? It's a Type E screw. So I'll get this out. <laughs> I had no idea then. Come on, come out. Okay, quite a long screw this one. I'm hoping I've lined it up enough to get this through. Uh, we will see. Okay, it's starting to go in. I have put oil on this. Oh, I'm going to stop because that isn't engaging into the shock there. Let me uh, hold it from the bottom. It is quite a loose fit. And try that again. There we go. It's going in this time. He says. I'm going to use my bigger screwdriver. And that one gives you enough torque to tighten that all the way up. So that's that shock attached at the top there. We're going to be putting it in at the bottom now. Then the bottom one takes these K screws. Let me show you these. These have got a hex top. So to get these in, I do need the tool that they provided earlier on. It actually uses this side. I think it's that side, yeah, which is the smallest side here. But, <laughs> trying to figure out where this attaches to. I think it attaches just to the bottom here. If you can see that. So I'm going to get this screw in. Now this is plastic, so uh, I haven't put this in oil. But that's in place. And hopefully... We can tighten this up, make sure it's screwed in. Yep, good. And get this all the way in. Excellent. The screw doesn't go through the dangling piece. No, it doesn't go. I haven't put it through the dangling piece. Or does the, the screw doesn't go through. I haven't put it through the dangling piece. Oh, it does go through the dangling piece. Okay, well, I'll get the bottom in first and uh, I'll take that out. That won't be a uh, hard to fix. Thank you, uh, Steve. Right, there you go, that's in. I will do what you just said. Glad you said that. Yep, you're right. You're right. This is why you're here, you see. Because <laughs> I make mistakes. <laughs> hey, at least I know it's lined up now. Get that screw out. I've probably cut that thread as well. It's probably the best thing I've done. See, I actually did that deliberately. That's what I did. Steve, that's what I did. I did it deliberately. <laughs> okay, so get this through this connector which uh, in itself is going to be a bit of a challenge. Hmm. Because the connector isn't really taking the screw very well. There we go. Get that kind of lined up. They don't want you to do this too tight, just so you know. And then I'll get that back in. Perfect. There you go, Steve. Hang on. I think that uh, thing has moved just a touch. Get that in. Okay. Going to do exactly the same on the other side. It's going to be fun. So, put this through here. Put the clamp on here. God, this is hard. I'm going to squeeze this. Line that up as best I can. 
which should be around about there. Get a screw ready. And put this through the connector. Ugh. And the part it's going into. Of course, on this connector, it wants to go in. <laughs> Make sure that's lined up. I think we're good. Oh, it's just come out. Let me uh, go. I'm gonna need two pairs of hands for this. Get back in there. Use my bigger screwdriver. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let me just wait till I can see it out the other side, then move that in. Hardest thing on these builds are lining things up. in there sorry about this these are the bits that i said should be easy but uh you know turn out not to be there we go and that's going all the way through there haha <laughs> fiddly it is fiddly right they're in place just put that k screw now into the bottom which means just making sure that's lined up where it's going to go it's quite well actually it's just a case of uh well hang on <laughs> thing was trying to fall off the shelf there let me go back to this camera not the easiest thing to do when you can't see what you're doing Get this on here and try and screw this in. It's going in, so that's a good sign. Okay, we're good. Again, I'm not doing that too tight, just enough to hold that in. That's the shocks in place. The other one isn't gone through the top of the shock. Mm, yep, you're right. Oh, God. That might. <laughs> I will just fix that one. I'm going to need my... You know what? You know what the problem is? The problem is... That I can't see anything. <laughs> so I need to... Get my... Uh, magnifying glasses on. Now I can see what I'm doing. Right, hang on a second. <laughs> Oh, I see. Right. This is actually just bent a little bit. Hang on a second. Let me just bend that back in. Don't want to break anything. Stand by. Just doing a bit of repair work here. There you go. Right, we're through the shock now. And I'll tighten this up. You can't see this, can you? Oh, hang on. There you go. We're good. You need your magnifiers. Yeah, big time. I can't see a thing. Okay, so once we've done that, that's that stage completed. Uh, the next stage, I'm just going to put this to one side. You can stay over there. Uh, I need to actually open this up. So I need stage 76. Now in these stages here, they provided a replacement part. And I don't know why. So let's have a look at this. This is the replacement part, which looks to be an all-in-one sort of thing here. As you can see. So if I open the box and see what we were supposed to have in there. It looks like they had these two parts completely separate. Why have they replaced that, I wonder? Well, I won't be using these two parts. So I haven't got a clue what that's all about. Uh, putting this to one side. Figuring out what we've got to do. Okay, so. This is metal, just so you know. It's quite heavy metal as well. Heavy metal, dude. <laughs> uh, and then they want me to 
take this part here and I'm guessing put it down the front like that interesting okay we're good uh, on the other side of this though no it looks different and the nut coupling this looks completely different to what we had let me have a look at this ah right okay so this bit should be able to come apart it does I need to get a nut through here how am I supposed to do that stand by I'm just looking at this I can't get this bit out of here but they want me to put a nut through here so let's try and figure this out together all right okay no it, that is right I do need to line up this side here like this because we're going to be putting this cover in here sorry my hands are going all over the place and push that in <clears throat> okay that's good the bottom wishbone's not in at the bottom yeah this this is not meant to be in Paul Reynolds that's not meant to be in at the moment you'll see why in a second I, yeah that's 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 not a problem don't worry <laughs> we got to attach that once we put this section in you see okay so now we've got that that's free to come out of there we haven't had to hold that in at all I'm just checking no nope, we haven't had to hold that in at all we should have a little uh what do you call these things rear semi-axle that's what they're calling this I'm going to be putting this into the car so let me figure out what side the car they're doing i've got no idea i mean whatever we do we've got to do on the other side anyway so if i do move this out of the way if i do what side are we doing stand by the left rear so this is the left side of the car so we are doing just this section here right okay <laughs> go figure this one out i'm going to be putting this axle bigger end here it's got a d-shaped into the hole that i've got on the brake disc here so will it go in first time of course it's not going to go in first time <laughs> stand by we're in now as you can see that's holding itself there don't know if i can get it in anymore now that's in quite quite solidly there and once that's in, I'm going to be putting these sides on here. So what we've just created there is going to go in the middle here. And the bottom sort of like pieces together like this. This is a bit crazy. Need about 200 hands here. On the silver side, I'm going to be putting another one of those hex screws. This time it's a different one, though. It's an L screw. It looks like that. Slightly shorter than what we've just had before. And I'll get this one in here. Just making sure that that's sort of into place on here. It's a tight fit, that's for sure. I'm wondering, should I have put this end? Let me just take this out. They are both D-shaped sort of holes. I don't understand why. Let me take this out. Hang on a second. I've, I've got this really wedged in here now, so there's no way I'm going to get that in. I just think it's going to be a very tight fit in there. Just have a look at this. Steve, if you've done this stage, what do you reckon? Drive shaft with CVs on the other end. So you're saying turn this around. I don't know if I can get this out. <laughs> I can't get it out. So this one's round. This has to go in here yeah it does so it's probably best to put that bit in first and then put this bit in let's do it that way i've got it i, I figured out a simple way to do it All right so we do that put this d-shaped in here that's in now i can put this in knowing that that fits perfectly in there and now i can put that in ah oh, look at that <laughs> okay i'm gonna have to kind of lift it a little bit this is metal, so I'll put this in a bit of oil. 
and then that can go in there. <laughs> just as you said, just as I said, oil, someone mentions oil. Who was that? The top of the left shock still doesn't look correct. It's in, I think what it is, the um the the fork ed has bent a little bit. I need to bend that back in. I'll do that afterwards. It is in. It's just off to one side sort of thing. I just need to close that gap. I'll do that afterwards. Whoops. This isn't going in. Come on. Try that again. Are we going in now? Is that what you did, Steve? It seems the simplest way, doesn't it? So, perfect. Okay, so that's him. Again, I don't, I'm, I'm very nervous about making this too tight. So I'm just going to get this hand tight just like that. Uh, in the other side, take the stub axe and position it between the two upper wishbones. Insert the lower wishbone into the relevant hole. Use a socket wrench to type eye screw as shown in the inset, which I've done. Oh, we've got to do... Right. So I've got another one going into this side here. Okay, stand by. Just lining this up. And get this in. This is a bit tricky on this side because I haven't really got <laughs> much room to turn it. Look. Uh... <laughs> I need a better tool for this. I've probably got something in my wow stick, you know, but uh, who knows? IIRC, the next screw is fun. Oh, thank you. <laughs> As if I'm not having enough issues at the moment. In fact, that's gone okay. I think the only thing I do need to fix, as uh, Ed says, is just uh, close that. Um, just close that gap off there. But uh, this is going to be interesting. There's got to be a simpler way for this. Am I just making this hard for myself? God. <laughs> or is this the screw you're talking about? You can only get like a maximum of, I don't know, half a turn. Oh, there's got to be a simpler way. I'm just looking at my wow stick, but I haven't got any socket adapters for it. Oh. Okay, I'm just going to get this in a little bit more because you don't want to spend the night watching me screw this in. I can see now we're not going to finish this tonight, are we? I know we've got 25 minutes, but unless things go a lot quicker, because at the moment, this is just going to take forever. Oh, wow. It's just a silly thing. Having to do this now. <laughs> you manage two or three flats at a time. God. It's crazy. If I had the right tools for the job, I could make short work of this, but uh, unfortunately I haven't. And the thing is, in the next stage, guess what we got to do? The other side. <laughs> Once again, on a Patreon stream, if you're not watching a guy uh, pour things in resin and watching it dry, you're watching a guy screw something in. And just so you know, that resin's per turned out perfectly. I've got to sand it now. So uh, I was going to show you tonight. I'll probably show you on the Thursday live stream instead. There we go. That's in. So got those two bits in. I'm guessing we've got to do the bottom one now, which again is a, the same type of screw. It does mean turning this upside down. like this I will try and figure out the best way for you to see this but that's going to go in there like that I'm going to get the screw can you see that? you can see that in here like that and then that's one side completed just interesting to know where it, to hold it Oh, I see what you mean, um, Paul. Who, who said that earlier? Sorry, I've, I've, I've copped that up. Paul Reynolds. Was it Paul Reynolds? You're right, one has come out. I didn't put these in completely. Look at that. I'm glad we've done that. Sorry, that was my mistake. 
I didn't realise we'd got to that stage yet. I bet you were screaming at me. There you go, it's going in now. Let's do the other one. Silly me. <laughs> that makes you happy now though, Paul, yeah? <laughs> Sorry, Paul Reynolds. That's my fault. I was getting cocky. <laughs> this is why you're here. This must be a nightmare for you when I do my normal builds. As I said, I'm always making mistakes. It's just the hard bit is to get it through that back bit as well. There we go. But we're in now. So, we're in. That's locked into place. That's looking like that. And we've got to do the other side. So, what I'm going to do, turn this back around. Look. Look. One of these magnets has already fallen out. Let's put that back in. I can see I'm probably going to end up gluing that. They're both in. Right, cool. Putting that to one side. I'm going to get rid of this rubbish. Otherwise, I'm going to get confused. Change the camera again. And uh, I'll do the other one. Is this, I'll finish this after the stream. No, what I normally do for this one is I just uh, put it till next time. Depends what we have left to do. If we can, I mean, we've got 20 minutes and the rest of this stage is mainly building the tyres. So, uh, you never know, we might do it. I'm just chucking away the bits that I don't need. Okay. But we're dab hands at this now. We should be able to do this easily. So what we should be able to do is get this replacement bit out. I don't know what this replacement bit's all about, I have to say. This can only go in one way, because as I mentioned earlier, look, you've got a round side and a D-shaped side. So the round side's the one that has to go in here. Even though it is a pain to get in, but that's the easiest way to do this. Bring this back over, and I appreciate now I'm working on the side that you're not going to be able to see. So what I'll try and do is uh put it on the top camera here put the d shaped thing into the brake disc figure out I'm trying to line this up and once i've got it lined up i will push it in again not the easiest thing to put in <laughs> oh come on it's got to be easier than that though There you go, that's in. Perfect. Take out this. Put this on here. OCD, it's big OCD, Paul. <laughs> I'm, I'm so grateful, though. Because, you know, I would have been struggling figuring out what's going on. Where's the screws for this pack? Stand by. Uh, ooh, hang on. I'm going to check what I just chucked then. Uh, uh, that's interesting. Right, what screws have I got left? I've got one of these screws here. I haven't got any more of those L screws. They haven't come in this pack. All I've got is these two. Uh, stand by. Gonna double, double, double check because I'm always losing things. Nothing in there, nothing in there, nothing in 75. This is stage 76. Let me just look at 76. Looking in the bin just in case. Well, that's a pain. Right, okay, not a problem, because I've got an L-screw here, and I've got an L-screw that comes in the pack that shows you what screws we're going to be using. Let's do this hard one first. What a pain that is. I'm missing a screw. Right, stand by. I'm doing the slow turn. <laughs> 
There is another part. Oh, there is another part to go on the hub. You're right. Stand by. Oh, wait a minute. I can put that on now, though, can't I? Because it goes on the outside. I'll put this in first and I'll push that in from the outside. I've got it right next to me. <laughs> See, I'm nervous now. Look, things, things that you don't plan for. There was absolutely no screws in this stage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just leave that there for a second and just get out another one of these other screws. Stand by. L screw. See if I've got any more in here. I might have. My box of tricks. That's interesting. It's not L screw, is it? It's I screw. Okay. See, I can probably nick one. Remember this? I can probably nick one from here. Gonna need one more. So, uh, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> it's not a carpet monster, it just, I haven't got it in the pack. That's why I was just checking the pack, you see. It's weird. Okay, let's get this other side in. I haven't even opened the pack with, you know, that's got, got it in. All that we had in here was the replacement bits. I will look at the uh, on-demand afterwards and just see if... Uh... There we go. That's in. But that one hasn't even gone in yet. Let's hold this from the bottom. And then turn this. There you go. That works. Just means I'm not going to be able to secure that bottom in yet. Unless I use the uh, K screw, which was slightly longer. Don't know if that's going to work. Right, before I tighten that one in all the way, let me get this one in. Because, you know, this is going to be a nightmare one. <laughs> Look at it. This could take forever. Especially when it don't want to go in. I, I can feel resistance, so it is, uh, it is screwing in. Being a pain. I'm hoping there isn't any other screws that we've got to have in this pack. But uh, you saw me open that. Nothing. De def nothing definitely tripped out. Someone's probably frantically looking back on the on-demand. What a poor design it is here. Yeah. If I had a wow stick, as I said, I could probably just do this in one go, as in that's got the socket on the end. But my wow stick's only got um, screw bits. So. But it's a poor design, but you can't argue with the detail, can you? The detail's amazing on this. Probably about three more complete turns. Two more. Oh. <laughs> One more. Okay. Now I've got to turn it upside down. Have a think what I'm going to do about this bottom piece. I'll stand by. Oh, I've had a pipe fall out. I'll put that back in in a second. Okay. What am I going to do about this? Because I haven't got the other screw. Now I could try the K screw. Let's have a look. The K screw. I mean this is going into metal. But would it do the same job? Let me have a look. Let's see if I can get away with this. But I definitely haven't got one of those other screws. Oh, that's not going to work. I will probably try and get a replacement. As a matter of fact, I think I just broke that off in there. <laughs> Which, funny enough, has held that into place. <laughs> oh, you can't, you can't beat it, can you? But there you go. That's both of those in place there. Let me just... Uh, had another bit fall off, which is the light, which goes just into this section here. I'll fish that out again in a second as well. 
can't really get to it at the moment <laughs> but there we go so that's in place now uh, i need to push in this bit here that we did last time and there we go so i think now we're all ready for the wheels so i'm just going to put that to one side and we'll look at the wheels because if we do one we'll be ready for the other one as well i think it'd be cheaper to go back some stage on my porsche than buy a second for it be a second time to do it i forget the steering bar then rebuild it god get an Oreo screwdriver it comes loads of bits yeah now this already comes with sponge inside just so you know uh, we don't actually do anything with that though we do need the parts for it which i've got in here is that make 79 is it uh i think so they want me to put the i don't think i'm going to do this yet they want me to put this front on the car now as you can see we do have three lugs in here I'm wondering if the tyres are on, if that's going to stop me doing that. So let me, uh, before I open that up, getting myself in a right mess here. This is the wing, sorry, of the uh, the rear wing of the car. They want it into this section here. Now, not going to be the easiest thing to put in. Because they've already said that you do need to rock it in place. So I will put it in because I'm guessing it's going to be hard to put the tyres in. So I'm just trying to line everything up. Which in itself isn't easy. And then rock it like this. And there you go. Aha! That's in. Just, uh, where did that come? Oh, that was from the um, the one that we're not using, isn't it? That looks good that's in i could probably get it more in on the bottom here like that cool now we're going to be putting these tires in so let's open this one up and again we've got all sorts of things in here we have got some things that i'm going to need to cut off a sprue here you can see so i've got my sprue cutters let's get these off now we have made tires before these are a hell of a lot thicker than the ones we made before though there's five of these to get off not seeing anything on the replay yeah i don't think it came oh, i can leave it off for now <laughs> i've already put it on steve <laughs> okay it's quite a tight fit though wasn't it I think I'd recommend using a bit of oil in that one as well. Okay. Get that. Where did that go? One, two, three, four, five. I should have five. There it is. Five. Okay. Take this bit out. I'm going to be pushing these into the cavities around the side there. So... Now, the fact that the whole wheel covers this, I don't quite know what these are for. Any ideas? They have got a certain shape when they go in. But uh, don't understand this one, I have to say. But I think what we can do tonight, if we can get this one tyre on the car, I need my tweezers, then... Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory what the other one's going to do. Get in there. See how easy these were going in there, and then you've got one that just wants to be a pain in the neck. Okay. Two more. It's replaceable. Oh, we do get another set of tyres, don't we? You're right. One more. Oh, they gave us a spare. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, I've got a spare one there. Okay, so they're all in. Next. Uh, stand by. 
I don't know what we're doing. We're going to take this. All of this is metal. I love this. Okay. Uh, I'm going to locate the bigger holes here around the lugs. Which are, oops, one, two. I'm going to be screwing these together, I'm guessing, with type A screws. Hopefully, they do come in this one. Get this screwed in. Yeah, I wasn't uh, expecting... Um, I wasn't expecting to have missing screws in this one, but I got lucky with that K screw. So that's good. Okay, that's these two in. And once I've done that, I guess I've got to push this onto the tire. So here we go. Uh, it's going to go through here. All the way in, and then I need to kind of come out the other side as well. So I can get the tire around this inner rim there. That that went in really easy. Just do the same on the other side. Wow, look at that. That went a lot quicker than I thought it would. <laughs> okay. Once I've done that, we're going to put this on the car. So it actually goes on this way. I think I'll put it on. Let me just move some of this stuff away. Doesn't really matter what side I put this on. I think. Just making sure I put this in the right way. So that's on there. That's okay. Yep, so this is actually going on the side that I'm putting it on anyway. I'm going to try and move the cameras around so you can see what I'm doing here. Because this is going to be going on here like that. And it's going to be held in with a type L screw. Now these screws have got a flange on them. As you can see. That looks pretty impressive, doesn't it? Now, unfortunately, I am going to have to turn this around because I can't see what I'm doing here. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to have to do it that way. But you get the idea of how this goes. Put this in. Oops. There you go. And get this L screw in here. Now, we do have a hubcap to put in afterwards as well. You certainly need a long shaft screwdriver for this. Uh, how can I stop that moving? <laughs> there you go. And then we're going to do the other ones. Let me just move that over there. And get the last bits of the tyres together. And then guess what? That's the end of this stage. So we should be able to get this last tyre done, I reckon. Aside from putting that pipe on that fell off, we should be good to go. Oops, let's go that camera. Stop the tyres from spinning on the rim, drags that have nuts and bolts. Ah. Stop the tyres from spinning on the rim. Drags does have... The... Yeah, the spinning is uh, stops me tightening them up all the way. I will tighten them up afterwards. I'll figure out a way to do that. I'm sure when this one's on, it will help to tie them both together. But once again, this is almost exactly the same, except we do have some uh, little stickers to put on the inside of the tyre as well. And then we do have the hubs here. This is the hub that we need to put on the tyre. So again, I'm just looking at the uh, the parts I've got here. This is from the last stage. I've only got one hub, haven't I? Let me just have a check what I'm meant to have. One tyre. One hub. It come in 79 and oh i'm only meant to have one hub at the moment okay the other hub comes i believe in the uh the following pack let me just check 81 81 has a hub yeah i think i've got another pack here somewhere just looking around I've done 80. This is 78. This is 81. I've only got one hub. One hub. Someone correct me. Am I meant to be having another hub? I definitely haven't got another hub here. Let me have a look at this again. I'm going to change back camera here so you can see. You can see the concerned look on my face. 
Okay, so we had a hub come in stage 79. 79 at a hub. I was supposed to have another hub in stage 81. I've only got one hub. Looking around. And now I've got two hubs. <laughs> I've got two hubs. Don't panic, everyone. Don't panic. I've got two hubs. Right, okay. I'm happy now. Let's just get these things off the sprue. I'm not going to be able to do the other tyre tonight. We're going to run out of time. That's a shame. And I haven't really chatted with you. So I'm going to put that other tyre together. That was a... Uh... That was a little bit stressful. I don't mind saying the um I still need to put this back on. Can't remember where it goes. It's on the top of the engine somewhere. So I'll figure that one out in a minute. And of course, because this fell out, it means I'm going to glue it on so it doesn't fall out. But uh, as you can see, <laughs> that's how it's looking at the moment. Look, even this brake thing needs to be plugged back in again. Back down here. I'll do that afterwards as well. But uh yeah, pretty of a fun stage that is. Looking good though, isn't it? <laughs> okay for me for a first stream since last thursday that was quite a stressful stream what with it not working properly at the, at the start and then obviously with the problems we've had tonight but uh it's coming along and it's all good uh there's going to be no video as you expect on the channel tomorrow because i've got nothing to build but there will be a live stream so i am going to do the community live stream at eight o'clock again uh thank you for your help paul thank you for correcting me where i went wrong at the bottom i will fix that other thing at the top with the little catchy thing uh, but it should good. I should have a spare eye screw if you want it. Um, I don't need it now because it's it, I, I've managed to get that piece in, so I should be okay, Steve. But thank you, thank you anyway. <laughs> anyway, listen, take care, everyone. I'll see you later.